How are you? <laughs> Good. How did the snap scope day? Good. You and Brandon, same spots? Yeah, same thing. So today it was my turn to go with the ones and his turn to go with the twos. And so, you I mean, yesterday I was with the twos and he was with the ones. So still evenly split. You guys haven't noticed any changes <clears throat> or any? Nope, not, not yet. Um, I guess today was day eight, technically. Right. Um, so nope, nothing yet. Um, I'm assuming they'll probably kind of give us a heads up after the scrimmage on Saturday. Um, I'd assume so, but until then, we'll probably continue to split reps evenly. That kind of feels like a big day for y'all and for other guys, too. Oh, absolutely. It's a big day for us. It's a big day for all the guys on offense and defense to prove themselves. Um, to the coaching staff, a lot of the, the young guys are getting a chance to play with the ones and the twos now, and uh, Saturday will be a good test for them. Whether it be in this competition or overall, do you consider yourself an underdog? Um, not necessarily. Yeah. Uh, not anymore. Uh, maybe last season I probably did, but... Not now. I've been there and done that. Um, you know, I've played games. I've played in tough environments. I've played, in, you know, in big time ball games. So no, I don't feel like an underdog now. I just feel I got to take it each and every day as serious as I can because I'm in a heated competition with a, a talented quarterback. How would you say the offense is moving the football? Uh, very well right now. Actually, today may have been our best practice offensively. Uh, not really any turnovers. I don't believe. I don't re really remember. We're starting to get a grip on you know what coach Roper wants of us I know quarterbacks are we're getting better every single day and offensive line's done an incredible job blocking this um, this fall camp and the running backs I mean everybody's been you know doing really well so you I, you could tell today that things were clicking is the blocking scheme the same basically as it was last year are they doing things differently and do you guys have to adjust to that um, yeah they're doing some things similar um, but a lot of things are different, and I think that's what Coach Roper brought over here. And Coach Elliott's done a great job teaching the O-line, and, um, you know, some of the protections are different. Some of the runs are different, too. But, um, you know, we, we've done a lot of practice through the offseason, you know, just guys getting out here and, you know, working through the stuff. And, you know, we're spraying, and now eight days of camp and everybody. Everything's so attention to detail that, you know, I feel like when we leave meetings, we understand what, what is being asked of us. So um, that's all the credit to the coaches. Coach, when they change what the receivers right now? Uh, the ability to catch the ball and make plays in space right now. Um, a lot of the young guys, I mean, the, the four freshman receivers that we brought in, you know, Brian, Corey, uh, and man, I'm drawing a blank. Right Vegas. Now. Yeah, and then um, uh, Dawkins as well. I mean, they all can make they all can make plays in space, and they all catch the ball well and move well. And I mean, that that, that shows, you know, a really good job on our coaching staff to bring those guys in. Lorenzo had a really good day too. Um, I'm really, really excited about him out there. What do you think of DJ Park's progress from last year to this year? Oh man, from D DJ Park's progress from his freshman year to now, it's been incredible. He was my roommate my freshman year. Yeah. And uh, just seeing his work ethic change over the years, you know, when I hear him talking about wanting to play at the next level and wanting to be a starter and wanting to be one of the best linemen in the, in the conference, I mean, it, it, it gets you fired up because you want to play um, behind a guy like that. And uh, to see his transformation, his attitude change has been a wonderful. How much are you working the tight ends into the offense? Um, a lot. I mean, probably really balanced right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we move one of the tight ends a, a good bit, but, um, you know, him, uh, Hayden and Casey, Jacob, um, they've all done a really, really good job for us right now, and they all are going to rotate this season, but, um, you know, we're all, we're, we're really expecting big things from them. Anybody step up at running back behind you to, to be that number one guy yet? Um, I'm not sure. Um, if they've made a decision on that. But, I mean, David's played well. A.J. Turner has played well. Um, Rod Talley, uh, Darius Paul. I mean, they've all really played well, and they're running the ball hard. And I think that's, you know, credit to them working hard and Coach Bentley, too, and, you know, some of the other coaches that work with them. You play Corey Banks, maybe getting a little bit more run with some guys dinged up. What's he doing well? Uh, he's doing everything well. Um, he's learning the playbook. He's catching passes. He's making plays with the ball. Um, he's just doing what we expected him to do. And we saw him, you know, running routes with some of great athlete. We expect him to play. Thanks, Pete.